always kind of start towards the edge first because that's how mom taught me to do it. And like you can just re-roll this and t turn it into some different cookies. I prefer to like cut the whole wet right there on the pan because mm -hmm. it gets harder to move them when there's a giant hole cut out of them. Kind of place it first to make sure it's pretty close to even. Can't have an off center snow globe. The hard part here is getting this out. You make it look pretty easy though. Yay! Perfect. Hey mom, how long? Okay, we're back. We've baked the cookies. They're out of the oven. And now we're going to make those magic little glass windows. And so we're using isomalt, magical ingredients for the modern cook. <laughs> and this is really just a version of a sugar replacement. But what we'll do is put it in a measuring cup, microwave it at 20 second intervals until it melts and is real bubbly. And you gotta move fast. You just need to start pouring right away. I have a sill pad underneath my parchment here, a silicon mat. That'll give it some flexibility as we pour it in. And we'll just tilt it to try to fill those openings. All right, we cut and baked our sugar cookie dough. And then we use the isomalt to make the glass windows, in this case, in our cookies. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the icing. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the icing around the rim of the area that I want to cover. This is royal icing. Like with the cookies, you can use whatever recipe you like. We're just gonna run it right around the edge and then we'll come back for the fill. Just level that out the best you can. Then I'm going to turn it because I am going to do the white next. We'll start with the white. And again, I'm going to try to line close to the edge and close to the other edge and then fill in. Using these offset spatulas, they're easy to handle when you're icing cookies. In my mind, it's the best way to do it. As long as you've got the icing there, you wanna keep the icing ahead of the blade of your knife or your spatula. And you can turn your cookie as you decorate it if it helps you to do that. This icing makes a nice snowy look on the edge of the cookie. We'll let those set because we'll have to turn them over to fill them. So that's the next step. Okay, so now Casey and I are gonna show our artistic side. We're going to add like a three-dimensional layer to this. We're gonna add more icing and you can do whatever you want. I'm not real comfortable doing the icing, but it's fun and it's a fun activity to do together. Yeah. So we'll just kind of play around and see what we end up with. I'm going to go ahead and do red on red for that bottom part. Here we go, we shall see. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some dots around the top to kind of try to refine the edge a little bit. Only can you do this because we're not serving these to guests. These are for us. <laughs> Normally, it would be only clean hands. Don't touch the cookies. We could even wear gloves if we were doing it for guests. I've washed my hands right before this. So. And then you put them in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. You need to stop doing that, please. It's tasty. Like I said, it's a fun family activity. All right, so Casey, you're gonna fill these. We've just inverted the ones that we're filling. They're upside down on our table. And Casey's gonna put in the items that he wants to shake around inside when it actually is filled all the way and we seal them together. Don't put your fingers in there. Well, how are so much? Don't put your fingers in there. It's for us. 
keep in mind, as Casey just reminded me, that these are family items. These are not things we'll be serving to guests or anyone who comes to the house. We're going to actually be eating these ourselves. So you wouldn't normally just put your fingers in the food if you're spreading them around. All right, so now what I'm going to do is put icing around the rim and then I will hook them together. So let me move these over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put this together this way. Okay. And we'll press this one on. Line it up the best you can. Thank you. I wish you could see it. I'll hold it up in a minute, but it looks like a snow globe. So now to finish this, I will eventually come in and go around this rim to hold it together. All right, I wanted to show you all the finished product with these snow globes. These are so fun. They're kind of time consuming. I have to hand you that. They're a little bit time consuming, but they're so cute and they'd make a great gift. So I say, slip it in a little plastic bag and pair it with one of our Blessings mugs and you've got a great opportunity for a wonderful Christmas gift that you made yourself. So use your favorite sugar cookie recipe, use your favorite royal icing recipe, and put together beautiful products that you can share with your friends and family this Christmas season.